Good morning, good morning. Philadelphia day two. It's cold, it's uh, 45 degrees right now. Today's supposed to be the warm day, 57. Tomorrow's supposed to be rainy and cold, so. Heading over to the hotel to meet with all the rest of the girls and parents for some breakfast.
one volleyball in the books. Girls went two and one, and uh, Sierra had an amazing day. She got to play front row, outside outside hitter, all and around. all around, and played all three matches. So it was probably that dams down to her best day of the season. So day one of the of the of the, of the tournament, two more days to go, and so now we're trying to figure out dinner plans. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because that's the end of the night for the vlog. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for day three. What up, what up guys? Back in Philadelphia, day two of the tournament, our third day here in Philly, and it's snowing. I don't know if you guys can see the flurry. It's <laughs> snowing, yeah. It rained, it rained all night, and now it's snowing, and it's supposed to snow all day. Oh, watch out. Woo! Oh yeah, watch the ice, careful. <laughs> oh, the wind's blowing this way. Woo. So we're out of the uh, Airbnb. We're headed to a store actually right now to see if we can find a uh, beanie and some gloves because we forgot that because you know you always forget something when you're traveling and that was what we forgot gloves and beanie so we're gonna try to figure find that and then um, meet up with the girls and the team for some lunch back at reading at the reading station reading terminal station market really dope place and I'm gonna try this roasted pork sandwich that literally every single person that I've asked hey what do you recommend in Philly Every single person has said this. Roasted pork sandwich from Denix. So that's what we're gonna do. Thank you. All right, here it is guys. The roasted pork sandwich from Denix. We are rolling. Everyone recommended this to me. We got the smoked provolone and the broccoli gras, I think is what it's called. So we're gonna try this out. Well, there you go guys, that's our Philadelphia trip. The girls went four and three for the weekend, I believe finishing seventh place, uh, and only like the two or top two or three teams uh, got the bid for the, the national championship. Uh, but they got three more weekends to compete and try to get one of those bids uh, this weekend, next weekend, and the following weekend. So they still have a good chance of, uh, of making that happen. Uh, Sierra had a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend of volleyball. She played pretty much every game, every match, uh, which is not the norm this season with this team, but um, I think that she, she she earned a spot, coach gave her a shot, and she shined. And so, you know, that's kind of how club sports work. Um, no spot is is guaranteed. So she's been working her butt off, and, uh, you know, it was awesome to, to for, a, for me to be there and watch her play uh, such a phenomenal weekend of volleyball. So pretty, uh, pretty happy for her, and uh, looking forward to more in the future. Unfortunately, as you saw there, we didn't do much in Philadelphia. We didn't do any of the touristy stuff. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. Uh, Sierra was with the girls pretty much at all times when they could. So, you know, before and after the games, dinners, hanging out in the hotel rooms, that sort of thing. Um, and I was with the parents. So not really anything to vlog there. I wasn't going to pull the camera out and vlog our conversations and whatnot. You know, they, it's, it's one of those things, as you guys know, I only vlog around people that either A, know that I vlog or B, uh, you know, aren't going to be in the vlog. And, uh, 
you know. And like I said, we just didn't really do anything. After the games, we went to dinner, had a couple of drinks, chit chat in the lobbies and bars, and that was it. So definitely not a Philadelphia like vacation. I definitely want to go back with the Bevos the next time they go and actually experience Philadelphia. Um, the food was amazing. I had some amazing food, and that was probably the highlight of the weekend was the three sandwiches that I had. Cheesesteak, the roasted pork from Denix, and I went to uh, a sub shop, a hoagie shop, and got a uh, Italian Diablo, which was probably the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. I'm just gonna say that. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Uh, Primo's, Primo Hoagies, phenomenal. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I have another vlog already edited and ready to go. Way better, actual vlog. Uh, felt really good to, to vlog a whole weekend uh, day, so stay tuned for that in the next couple of days, and we'll see you then. Vlog on.